Expository Notes on the Prophet Isaiah, Chapter 60, God Glorified in the Remnant By H. A. Ironside Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee, verse 1. After that call the prophet goes on to show them the need for that light. It is the darkness. For, behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising, verses 2, 3. Restored Israel is brought to the forefront of God's plan and blessing for the whole earth. The kings of the earth will bow down to them, the nations that once persecuted them come and acknowledge that God is with them, and they will seek to enter into fellowship and communion with them. This is to be taken literally. God will deal thus with his people Israel and bring the nations that once antagonized and persecuted them into this blessed harmony in the last days. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favour have I had mercy on thee. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended, verses 10, 15, 19, 20. What a day that will be for Israel after the long centuries of suffering and their days of mourning! This carries us on through the millennial glory and into the eternal state, for God will never give up this people. They will always have a separate place in His mind, as the church too will have hers. God has various groups, all of whom have their own place in His counsels, all redeemed alike by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ.